All right, we're here in Margaritas outside of Rathimno. And this beautiful ceramic shop, this village is known for the ceramic tradition. And it is a beautiful spot. And this is George, whose shop this is. Hello, George. Hello. Kalispera. Kalispera. How are you? Fine, fine. Welcome. Thank you. What a beautiful shop you have. Thank you. And this is your family here? Yes. My wife, my daughter. Hello. One of my daughters. Nice. Great. Can you tell me a little bit about your shop and the pottery tradition yes, and, and yes. the work? Yeah. The place here, Margaritas, is historical for pottery for maybe for ancient times, maybe from Minoan period up to the present days because of the good quality of clay of the raw material that exists on the, on the mountains, three kilometers away in this situation, like a rock. This material you cannot find it ready to buy. You have to go and dig it of ourselves. And so you go out into the mountains? Yes, there. and a few more potters for Margaritas. Okay, we are 22 potters. Most of us, we do modern pottery. But few of us, we still try and keep the ancient pottery alive. The characteristic of this clay is to make, uh, we do pottery, that ceramics are good for everyday use without glaze, just one firing. And we specialized in this pottery, and we do good firing as well. For example, this clay, after, when we fire it in a modern electric kiln, electric oven, color will be red like that, because clay contains a lot of iron oxide. Okay. Same clay, when we fire it with a traditional way, in a wood fire, look at the different color. Hmm. It's like that, because of the oxygen. More oxygen, red color, less oxygen. Uh, brown color, brown, it could be black, eh? okay. it depends on the amount of oxygen. And the speciality of this clay is that we can use the, the, our ceramics without any glaze. Like exactly the ancient pottery, you see the big pottery here, mm -hmm. the big pots? That's so the, these are like, these, these vessels things. are from ancient times? Yes, yes. Not ancient. Not main, uh, but I just mean the yes, style. Yes, the style. And this is uh, 100 years old. This is 200 years old. And these are for storing water for, or what? No, wa wa olive oil and wine. Okay. And do families still use these types of containers or no? No, no, not the, the big pots, no, no. But we use all the, all the other uh, types of uh, pottery we, we, nice. we use. Today. And were you born in this village? Yes. So this, this village. how this goes back in generations of exactly, your family? Exactly. My father was a potter too, and my father learned pottery from his uncle. Okay. From my grandfather's brother. And me, I studied pottery in Athens for three years. Nice. I have the shop for 25 years. Wow. So can you take me around the shop and tell me about some of the pieces? Yes, I want to show you now, you see my, what my, wife's and my wife and my daughters do, that we do, instead of glaze, this, this clay doesn't need to be glazed, but with a pebble, especially with a pebble, before the firing, we used to burnish the pottery to make them smooth, 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 you see? To mm -hmm. to, no, no, we don't do this technique to make ceramics easier, to, 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 to make ceramics waterproof. We do mm -hmm. this technique to make ceramics more fine, more nice, more delicate, and of course to be easier to wash, easier to clean, mm -hmm. especially if, it's a, if we have a plate, a bowl, a dish, Okay. If they are smooth like this, you can feel it with your finger, eh? how it looks like. The wow. rough and the smooth surface oh, yeah. here. Just Great. with a pebble, before the firing, many, many times on the outside. And we do this nice, nice surface. Eh? Nice. Uh, that it, for it, each pot is different. Eh? This is totally hand-polished. Hand and before the firing, as you see in the, in the pottery around here, we have the sim similar motive. Eh? This motive that we do is the typical motive that exists here for hundreds and hundreds of years ago. It's a kind of logo of this place, this little motive. I want to show you now how we decorate the pottery art like that. And this way of decoration comes from Minoan period. Eh? We have a special brush. We're using a piece of sheep's wool on a wooden stick. It's sheep's a, wool? It's a piece of sheep's wool. Okay. As a color, we use ochra, different clay from the mountains, or different, uh, or another clay from the river, white clay from the river. And on a dry surface, on a dry pot, like that, on the outside, normally my wife must my, my, my show you this. Could you, uh, my wife, uh, my, my wife does the painting, so okay. she must do it. She should do it better than me. Nice. So please, Mariniki. Hi, Mariniki. Kalispera. Yeah. Can you explain to me what she's doing? I'm putting first the wool in the, the in the color. Okay. And then this is a traditional motif of margaritas from the very very old times. Nice. And so, how far back do you think this tradition of pottery goes? Nobody knows how old it is. We learn it from the grandparents, and they learn from the. Nice. And do you also come from this village? No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, I 
married with yours and uh, I stay here and I learn everything. Nice. I want to show you how the, the, this decoration okay. comes from the electric and how this decoration comes from the wood. Mm -hmm. When, when you, you call this motif kind of this icon, what is it, a, a no, branch is, of a this particular is a, plant? This is an aphoretic plant, it's an aphoretic, uh, uh, it's a, just a motif, it's not a special plant or a special, uh, yes, um, okay. motif, no, it's, a, it's an aphoretic plant. Nice. It's just a, just a motif, yes. Okay. Beautiful. So on the left is the... Is the electric. Electric, and on the right this hand is, wood, is yes. the wood. This is the wood. Yes. Nice. Same thing. Red and black. Cool. And I want to show you now, now some very interesting shapes, some very, very clever ideas. Like um, like the, the little honey pot. You know, they produce everything mm -hmm. for a special use. To store the olive oil, other pots for the wine, other pots for the water. They use specially this, this little pot, maybe from 1200 BC, for the honey. To store the honey, they put inside the honey. They cover it with a piece of cotton or with a ceramic lid. And around the rim here, they put everyday water. You know why? To, to stop the ants. Hmm. The ants that likes very much honey, they cannot swim. They try to get in. A, a, a trap, honey. yeah. Yes, like a like moat. A, like a moat from a castle, yeah. Another clever design is this little format. They use it as a funny pot, as a tricky pot. They fill it with wine from the, from the top up to the holes here. And they give it to someone and the other must find a way how to use it, how to drink out of that without becoming wet. There's only one way to drink from this little pot, if you will close one little hole. Which is the right hole to close and drink? The right hole, you cannot see it, see it very easily, because it's underneath, under the handle. Why mm. the hole is under the handle? Down there. Because the top and the handle is hollow, empty. It's like a straw. You have to close the hole, keep it straight, you never pour it, you never. And then you suck it. You drink like that. Everyone, when he tries to drink, he closes the hole, tries like that. Everyone is full of wine and that's a joke, yeah? <laughs> Another clever design is the, is the clepsydra, this little form from 750 BC. You can find exactly the same in museum. If you will press it in the water for a few seconds because of the pressure, but now directly fits on the bottom. If you put your thumb here, you can hold the water. Mm. You can bring it where you like, where you want. If you leave your finger, water for like a shower. They use it for religious purpose, for baptisms, for offerings. They use it to, as a shower for the babies, for the, for the ladies. Maybe for the plants, to water in the plants. Hmm. So simple, so clever. Wow. Another clever design is the cup of justice. Let me show you here. The cup of justice, they use it to, to measure the wine, to drink all the same. Of course, people, when, we, when, when they see something like that, they think that they use it to, to squeeze the lemons and the oranges. But no. Look. When people, when people drinking and eating they, and they have fun, they, they give the wine, they offer a normal quantity, the same quantity, and like that, everyone can use that cup and drinks normally without problem. For example, if someone, when they are drinking, wants to drink more, if someone be greedy, selfish, egoist, wants to fill his cup and drinks more from the others, look what happened. To lose it all, all comes out, and they say, the more you want, the less you get. It's a trick and philosophy, not to be greedy, eh? And you don't lose the extra, you lose it all, eh? All comes out. This has happened because you have a little siphon here. This is broken to understand how it works. You have a pipe with a cover, and if it is too much the liquid from the inside, it sucks all and everything comes out. Siphoning. This is a little whistle, water whistle. Sounds like the nightingale. We fill it with water. And then if we will blow, sounds like the nightingale. the ink to protect the ink in ancient times they put the ink from the top it's full with water now if you see it's full full with water you see mm -hmm. so and then they took it with a feather with a pen and they write normally that's the inside that's the half section so if by accident they turn it down ink never spills wow very clever same thing they use it later for spices for pepper for sugar for salt for cinnamon of course they use it upside down they fill it with any powder. This is salt. We can put pepper, we can put sugar. Okay, this is too full now. Then if we leave it on a table like that, nothing happens, only when we shake it. 
up and, and over the rim inside. Yes, no, nothing, nothing like that, nothing like that, just up and down. So we try to keep this ancient pottery alive. Nice. Here in Margarita that the pottery never stop. We use the same clay and we want to share our knowledge with, uh, because we do, we educate, we do pottery lessons all the time, seminars, mm -hmm. all over the world we go and mostly here, of course. Nice. And so are these most, most of your customers and the people who are doing you purchasing these things now are Greeks who are using these traditional items in their homes or mostly tourists who are uh, interested both, in the well, oh. I can say, okay, in summertime, that summer longs uh, from March and, until November, mm -hmm. seven and more months, normally, when the situation is, is well, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, because these COVID times is, uh, you know, yeah. uh, we have very short, uh, had very short period last year, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the, period, the period is long, the, the season of uh, the visitors comes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we mostly we have people from Europe, uh, Europe, United States, uh, Israel, and uh, all over the world, Australia, mm -hmm. Canada, yes. Nice. And do you have a presence online? Do you sell your items on? We sell from our w website. Great. Because and... everything here is unique. For example, have a look on the balloons. They are all unique. They all all happen once. Yeah. So uh, we have people who wants to take a piece, for example, like this. Yeah. Uh, it says the size about what size, what color. Mm -hmm. We send picture to him. Yeah. And he Great. choose from the picture, and we sell yes all over the world. We we ship all over the world. Great. And we'll go ahead and I'll put the uh, the link to your website in the description on the video. So this you, this town and your shop is unique not just to Crete but all of Greece right yes, yes Margaritas I think is one of the maybe is the biggest pottery center traditional pottery center in Greece we have 18 uh, visiting pottery shops in a little in such a little village nice. in the center of Crete amazing yes great can you introduce yourself again the name of your shop and where yes, we are uh, my name is George George Dalambelas my wife is Mariniki who we work together we, we, we live here and uh, our name of the shop is Keramion. Keramion is an ancient Greek word that means uh, ceramic workshop in one word. Today we say Ergastirio Keramikis, ceramic workshop. We use two different words in modern Greek. So we call it Keramion. Uh, Keramion. Uh, and if you Google that word, Keramion.gr is our website. Great. I'll make, sure to so link, I'll make sure to link to that. Thank you so much for Thank sharing you. the tradition and your business with us. Thank you. So I, I can make a pot for you if you want. Yes, please. Time. Great. Know. Let's do it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to see more super useful travel videos about Greece and beyond from SantoriniDave.com.